Hi everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to show you how to upload an SVG on your iPad, one that comes in as a zip file. Um, at first I didn't know that we could unzip a zip file from an iPad, so I figured it out and I'm going to show you just how to do it, so stay tuned. The first thing that you will need is to download a couple of apps. Say so one is called iZip. Okay. With iZip, what this does is allows you to load a zipped file into this program and it will unzip it for you. The second program that you may want to load on your iPad would be OneDrive if you have the Office, the word Office, your OneDrive, because this you can open up anywhere on any computer if you have it. If you don't have it, you can upload your file into iCloud, which of course all iPads have iCloud. Let's go to a website where you can download SVGs from. I'm going to download this SVG right here. And this is from SVG and me. You want to go over to her site, check her out. She has awesome SVGs. Um, you can be part of her club and she has a ton of free stuff and I would guess I'm purchasing things I haven't gotten that far to look but I came across this happy fall y'all you do not want to use this this particular um, or any of her SVGs without her permission and getting a license for to put on anything that you're selling okay so what you do is you just scroll down to where it says download now I would read all that information that's under the photo just to make sure that you understand all her requirements. So once you come here, if you've never opened up anything in iZip, it will just say open up in and you would have nothing there and then you could click the word more. Here's where it comes up with options. Just like saving anything else on your iPad, you have options of where you what you want to do with it. Whether it's a photo, if you want to send it a message, if you want to uh, send out an email, whatever. So here is where you have options. Oops, sorry. So uh, you could scroll down; it gives you more by scrolling over with your finger. Here's where I have the iZip. All right. It's going to bring iZip up. And then it's going to ask you, first this thing is like iZip, and then there's Pro, we don't want that. We And then it's saying, would you like to unzip all files? You're going to hit yes. I'm going to exit out of that upload. It always comes up with an ad. It Either you have to watch the whole ad and then X out. This one is letting me X out right away. I said this before, all free apps come with ads. So you either have to persevere with the ads or you pay for an upgrade version that doesn't have any ads. Now, if you look at the file, it has two different type of images. You can get the SVG file or you can get the PNG file. So depending on what you were doing with this file, we're going to go with the SVG file. Once you hit happy fall y'all SVG, it shoots out this window and you can do four things. You can hit the full version, like it just makes it bigger. I'll show you bigger, see? Or you can close it out. We don't want to close it out. Then down here it says, um, we're just gonna go back. It says, open in or print we want to open in again our options come up now here's where I said you would want to 
I save it to OneDrive if you have that. It's Microsoft OneDrive. If you don't have that, you can go down here to save to files or you can hit the more. Let's see what else is there. You could print, of course, there you go, printing again. But we're going to go to save to file. And here's where I have the option of the iCloud or the OneDrive. Um, we're going to do iCloud so I could show you how to do it with what you already have on your computer or your iPad, sorry. Hit iCloud. And then we're going to hit the word add up here at the top of this box. Uh, I already have it here, so I'm just going to hit replace. But if I didn't have it here, this box wouldn't come up. It will just save it. Once it has saved, that window drops down. So we can close out here. Now I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to close out. I'm going to bring up my Cricut. And if you're not signed in, you want to sign in. You want to start a new project. So I'm actually in the new project section. And I'm going to go down here at the bottom on the left hand side where it says image, text, shape, or upload. We're going to hit upload. You would hit image if you already have the the SVG file in your Cricut Design Space. If you do not have it in your Cricut Design Space, you want to go to upload. Now your options are take you could take a photo to upload in here. Select from photo library, browse files, or open uploaded images. We want to browse files. Now my options come up here at the top where it says locations of where I can browse. I can browse in my iCloud, on my iPad, my OneDrive personal file, or recently deleted. As you can see, it's already highlighted on the first one, which is iCloud Drive. And if you go over here to the right hand side, you will see it has the happy fall you all right here. So we're just going to, if, if it wasn't, if it was in my OneDrive, it would be here under my files. And I'm not sure about iPad. Oh, look at that. If you hit the iPad, you can go to unzip. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I could get it right from my OneZip. It's no, because it's not unzipped yet. Okay, so go back to the iCloud Drive. I'm going to hit Happy Fall, y'all. And it uploads the image just like it would in from anywhere else. So now it's already cleaned up, so it doesn't give you the option of cleaning it. So now you just need to name it. And we're going to go Happy Fall. y'all and I always do a dash and then I write next to it what where I got it because I may be asked where I got it from or I might be doing a tutorial on and using this image and I want to be able to refer back to where I got it from to give credit all right and then we're gonna hit done then we're going to hit the word save up here in the right hand corner. My uploaded images pop up and it's usually the first one. If this does not come up, close out and go to the search. You can hit happy fall y'all up here in the search bar, but it's right here. So we're just going to tap on that and then we're going to insert my image. That's it everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel. And don't forget to go over to SVG and me and check out her channel as well.